All right, this is Greg, and I've got a real good video for you today. This is called What's Wrong With My Stomach? This is the number one complaint to medical doctors today. The number one reason people are admitted to hospitals, it stems from digestive-related issues. So this problem is something that we need to highlight more, and I've got some great information here in this video that can really help you understand what's going on. As I said, GI disorders, they've become the most common health problems and the number one reason for visiting doctors. This actually is a, a very interesting survey that was conducted back in 2013 by Fox News. It said that 74% of the respondents complained of GI discomfort. And here's the, kick, the kicker. Over half of them never discussed it with their doctor. So this is a problem that people have. It's very widespread throughout the country and people are not doing it, uh, anything about it because it's an embarrassment. This is, again, more info from our USNIH showing you how prevalent digestive diseases are today. In fact, they estimate 60 to 70 million people are affected by digestive disorders. And this was from 2010. This is 2019 now. They don't have the updated stats. What can we see? Here's just some visible signs. The lady here on the left with GERD in the middle, constipation. This guy here on the right, big bloated stomach. Interesting enough, uh, our own government says that up to 42 million Americans suffer with constipation. Also, acid indigestion, acid reflux, or GERD, another serious problem going on out there. And leaky gut, this is a big one. A lot of people are suffering from that. So let me just break it down. What is causing this massive epidemic of digestive problems? Let's start with cause number one, antibiotics. People are taking antibiotics today like they're candy. The first sniffles, first sign of a cold, they run to their doctor and they're getting put on a prescription for antibiotics. Guess what? Antibiotics are not selective. They kill all bacteria, good and bad. And so that throws off the uh, uh, balance of your flora in your digestive system, causing digestive problems. This is a big one here, dieting. And I'm specifically referring to the Atkins diet and the ketone diet, which I think can give people great results. I've seen some amazing things happen with people. However, high protein, low carbohydrates, high fat diets uh, over time can cause serious digestive discomfort and constipation. In fact, I would bet if you talk to 100 people that are following these diets and ask them if they have constipation, the answer is going to probably be yes, because constipation is a major issue with, the, with these diets. This is another big one, pesticides, specifically Roundup. They actually are proving that Roundup interferes with the microbial balance of your digestive system. This is another one, GMOs. In fact, they've uh, done different studies to find that there are actually GMO residues in almost every person's um, fecal waste that they check. So this that this thing that these things aren't affecting our digestive systems is an, an absolute myth. Uh, there is a lot of research you can come across on the internet and out there, studies that have been done to show you. And then, you know, this is a basic one, the standard American diet, the refined, packaged, fast foods, fried foods, you name it. Uh, the fact is you can't live a steady diet, three meals a day, just eating like this and think that your digestive system is going to function normally. It's designed to fail. And uh, last but not least, dairy products. There's an overconsumption of dairy, and a lot of people actually have lactose intolerance and allergies, both gluten and dairy allergies. Those are big contributors to digestive-related problems. Uh, also, a lot of dairy product can actually uh, cause your system to build mucus up in the digestive system. So any of these things are factors. So what can you do about it? So I've just outlined the problem. Let's get into the solution, how to correct impaired digestion, and you're going to need to detox. You're going to need to work on some protocols that can help to restore uh, balance back to your digestive system. And I'm happy to announce to you that we have, in my opinion, the most phenomenal and interesting digestive system cleanser that you'll come across in the market. It's called Temple Cleanse. And Temple Cleanse works different than your standard herbs and over-the-counter products that you'll find in a lot of the grocery stores and, and drug stores. 
Temple Cleanse contains a unique source of oxygen bonded magnesium. Magnesium that has been derived from the Dead Sea over in Israel. Here's what I know. Temple Cleanse has been on the market since 2003 and it works phenomenally well. These are just some of the many uh, testimonials that we've heard back and have seen and know happen when you take Temple Cleanse. It eliminates constipation in 24 hours or less in almost everybody that's ever used it. Uh, Complements the Atkins and Ketones diet. Uh, definitely if you're on diets, you need to take something like Temple Cleanse. Eliminates stomach bloating, stimulates weight loss, alleviates stomach pain, you name it. You can hit pause on the video and read all that. Again, that's what I touched on. Um, the Dead Sea over in Israel actually has the highest concentration of minerals that they have discovered of anywhere else on planet Earth. That's why Temple Cleanse works so phenomenally well. I don't know of any other product out there that's using this source of magnesium in their product. And again, as I said, it's an oxygen uh, bonded to magnesium. And so what happens when you take a product like Temple Cleanse is that it stays stable. The oxygen stays stable on the magnesium until it comes in contact with the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. The hydrochloric acid actually creates a separation process and it, uh, it releases that oxygen. And so the magnesium actually flushes through the digestive system and gives you a phenomenal colon cleansing uh, experience. And the oxygen is also detoxifying and cleansing the digestive system simultaneously. This is a video that I came across on YouTube uh, by the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. It's a uh, Creative Commons licensed video, which means it's free to use in the public square. And I want you to see just briefly, now I'm, I'm not a chemist, but I just want to give you a quick visual on what happens when you take um, a product like Temple Cleanse. Check this out. In the single displacement reaction of a metal with an acid, we will react magnesium metal with hydrochloric acid. As we add the magnesium metal, we get a very rapid reaction. Hydrogen gas is produced by the single displacement reaction. The metal reacts completely, leaving us the solution of magnesium chloride. We so that's kind of it in a nutshell. You see when you put the magnesium in contact with the hydrochloric acid that it fizzes and separates it creates a, a different compound that's similar to what's happening with Temple Cleanse. That's why it works so much better. A lot of herbs, they cause stomach cramping. You're only supposed to stay on a lot of those different herbs for, say, a week or two at a time. Temple Cleanse is designed for long-term use. You can get Temple Cleanse on Amazon, especially if you're a Prime member. You can probably get it in the next day or even same-day delivery. And uh, Or if you're interested, you can also get Temple Cleanse from our website, 7lightshealth.com. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. If you want to change your health in 2019, if you want to fix your digestive issues, if you want to end all of your stomach problems that are, that are bugging you, then give Temple Cleanse a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Thank you.